Hello everyone, I'm gonna read you all the story. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. And swing from her branches and eat her apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. And the tree was happy. Sorry, very much, and the tree was happy. But time went by. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came by to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I, only, I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree was sh shook with joy. Sorry. And she said, Come, boy, climb on my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house, then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. 
Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down the trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. I think what's really most important, boys and girls, about Thanksgiving, it's about you got to be thankful for what you have. Your family and your friends and the people who love you very much. I think that's most important about Thanksgiving, that we should be thankful. Even for the plants that we have in this world, sorry, not, yeah, in this world, nah, that we could grow, that we could breathe, that, that we could eat fruits and vegetables. We got to be thankful for this world and, and for a family that we have together. Because Thanksgiving... It's just not all about the turkey. No. It's all about being thankful that you have your family, your friends, and everything else that you could eat. And that's right. Well, yeah. The boy had a friend and was the boy's friend. Tree. And what the tree gave to the boy? She gave him apples, her branches, and her trunk. Why? Because she wants the boy to be happy. And was the boy always happy? Yes. And why is that? Because he has a lovely friend, the tree. And is the boy always there for the tree? Sometimes, but not really. But he still loves her. And she still loves him. So what's this important, what is the most important thing about Thanksgiving? That we should be thankful for the friends we have and family that we love so much. You're right, Mr. Snail. I am right. And I love you all. A good night. Have a nice Thanksgiving week. Well, it is true, but we should always be thankful for. All right, I'm going to sing a happy birthday song to everyone born in the month of November. <laughs>